Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to change the retention period for Active Directory Recycle Bin feature. Using Recycle Bin feature, you can restore deleted Active Directory objects without having to perform an authoritative restore. Objects that have been deleted can be recovered from the deleted objects container using Recycle Bin back to their original locations. Restoration can be done before the tombstone lifetime of the object expires. Depending on your system environment and business requirements, you can increase or decrease the deleted object lifetime and the tombstone lifetime. If you want your deleted objects to be recoverable for longer than the default 180 days, you can increase the deleted object lifetime. If you want your recycled objects to be recoverable through authoritative restore for longer than the default 180 days, you can also increase the tombstone lifetime. You can use ADSI Edit or Windows PowerShell to change it. In this video, we want to change the both retention periods using ADSI Edit. The tombstone lifetime is determined by the value of the tombstone lifetime attribute. The deleted object lifetime is determined by the value of the MSDS deleted object lifetime attribute. By default, MSDS deleted object lifetime is set to null. When MSDS deleted object lifetime is set to null, the deleted object lifetime is set to the value of the tombstone lifetime. Membership in enterprise admins group or equivalent is the minimum requirement to complete this process. For this demo, I have created a virtual test environment in Oracle VM virtual box. We have single domain active directory forest name msftwebcast.com. This is our Windows Server 2022 domain controller. From the server manager's tool menu, open ADSI edit. Let me maximize it. We have to connect it to configuration partition. To do that, right click the ADSI edit and select connect to. Change the default naming context to configuration. Click OK to connect to configuration partition. First, we will change the current tombstone lifetime with ADSI tool. Go to configuration, CN is equal to configuration, CN is equal to services, CN is equal to Windows NT and click on CN is equal to directory service. Right click CN is equal to directory service and select properties. Find tombstone lifetime attribute in the list of properties. The default lifetime value is set to 180 days. To edit the set value, double click tombstone lifetime attribute. Set the new value that you need. In our case, we want to set the value to 365 days. Click OK. We have set the new tombstone lifetime value to 365 days. To save the settings, click on Apply and OK. Next, we want to change the deleted object lifetime value. The MSDS deleted object lifetime attribute determines the deleted object lifetime. The steps are same as for tombstone lifetime editing. Again, right click CN directory service and select properties. Find the MSDS deleted object lifetime attribute. The default value setting is not set. With this settings, the deleted object's lifetime period is the same as the tombstone lifetime. So basically, there is no need to change this value as we have already set tombstone lifetime value to 365 days. But still, if you want to manually set this attribute, then double click on MSDS deleted object lifetime and set the new value that you need. The minimum value possible to configure is two days. In our case, we will set the value to 365. Click OK. To save new settings, click on Apply and OK. 
So we have successfully changed the Tombstone lifetime and MSDS related object lifetime attribute using ADSI Edit. You can also modify the values of the Tombstone lifetime and MSDS deleted object lifetime attributes anytime by using the set AD object CM delete in Windows PowerShell or by using the LDP.exe administrative tool. This is totally up to you that what value you want to set for Tombstone lifetime and MSDS deleted object lifetime attributes. That's all for the video on how to change the retention period for Active Directory Recycle Bin on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.